Good afternoon, everybody. We are at our first install of the day. I think it's probably going on 2 o'clock. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, it's 2.30. So, uh, it's a tear-out install. Not ideally the time you would like to start one. Uh, but we haven't been coming until 10 because it's cold. Um, in the mornings, uh, I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how it is. Um, and then there was a miscommunication on whether the customer want a backsplash or not. So template said no, paperwork said yes. So I had to stop what I was doing, turn around, go back in the shop, pull the slab back out, cut the backsplash, polish the backsplash, cut it to size. So here we are. Um, this is a little bit of an odd one. The customer is reusing their drop-in sink. So to be nice, I told them just leave it in the hole. Melissa pulled measurements and I, I'll pull it out and reinstall it. Also, just to be nice, um, I told them that I would unhook the, uh, the hardwired cooktop as long as they knock the breaker. Looks like I'll be pulling some pans out as well. Don't even know where it's hooked up at. Okay, it goes over here. It's right there. All right. All right. So we're going to need to pull those out and stuff. Right. So, um, Tony, get with her. Make sure she wants that laminate. Oh, I've already talked to her about it. Yes. Okay. We're going to be taking her off. This is one thing you always want to check, guys. Um, if the customer has laminate, like that on the wall now in a normal world you would think that if they want their countertops that match it torn out that they would want that taken off as well but if you don't ask you're going to get yelled at for not asking if they don't want it torn off and it's hard to believe but three people out of ten don't want that tore off so always ask so we're going to get started with this tear out. We're going to unhook this stuff, pull it out of here, pull this out, and uh, put the new stuff in. And uh, hopefully the Lord will bless us and everything will go well. All right, so uh, the cooktop, it just had two little uh, keepers on, one on each side. These right here. One, one screw in the cooktop. Once we got the cooktop out, we took the two that went into the cabinet out. The sink, it was cast iron, and uh, the only thing holding it in, those sinks are pretty heavy, so the weight holds them in, and you can see the silicone bead that they had around it, so that's it. We took them both out without really any problems. And we set a blanket on the floor and just brought them over here. I'm leaning on the couch a little bit, but that's all right. So Tony's struggling with the laminate here a little bit. So we're going to hit it with some heat and see if that helps. Still not the easiest thing in the world, but I don't know if that's better than this thing off or not. I'm gonna have to use both hands because my arms are getting tired. You can stop. One thing about laminate, if you're unaware, it's very sharp. <laughs> so when you're pushing that pry bar up into it, when it slides through, it will cut you when your hand hits it. So I got some gloves. Of course, I'm gonna clean it up, put a band aid on it, but I got some gloves also. They, they help. He did not bleed on everything, and uh, they, they give your hands a little protection. All right, so we just finished our tear out, the countertops, and the laminate on the walls. It's 3.15, so we did it in 45 minutes. Uh, that includes taking the cooktop and the sink out. Uh, unhooking the cooktop, which is hardwired in. Uh, I think we made pretty good time. So 
So we always bring the templates in and, you know, see how they look once we've taken all the tops out. Sometimes things can look a bit different once you take the tops out, but everything looks pretty decent here. I just, I never can understand why these guys don't want to take templates with them. Especially when one like this is wall to wall. You can pull it and make sure it's going to slide out and all that fun stuff. See how much room you got to your trim and it's just smart business. As always, we put a laser level on it to kind of see what we're working with. Uh, the peninsula side of the cabinets, they rise a little bit, probably an eighth inch or so. Um, not terrible, not perfect, not terrible. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. So. Uh, so we can work with it. I, I don't even think there's a need to call the customer in here and show them. These, you know, it really doesn't matter to me, but that one's actually pretty even with these over here, which is rare. Seemed like the cabinet person did kind of know what they was doing. And then this one over here, it's, you know, it gets a little high on that left-hand side, but it's still not terrible. So we're going to rock and roll with that. Also, we've got two different cutouts to finish here. This is the cooktop. And of course, this is the drop-in sink, both of which we've put the cutout bags in there to catch the dust, keep it as clean as possible in the home. All right, guys, they're playing the piano in the other room. They sound like they're really good at it. Uh, but uh, I've got the seams leveled up, everything together. I'm getting ready to mix the epoxy and the put these things together. I went ahead and blocked these on both sides, but I think with this, uh, this R Wolf uh, seam setter, joint setter, I think with them being small, I can probably fit them in the center on both of these. And so we'll see what's up. All right, I got this seam pulled together and uh, My joint setter did fit on here. So, turned out really good. I took the torch to it to kind of heat it up because it's cold out. Not the seam itself, but the stone beside of it. So hopefully it'll set up a little faster. It's setting up a little faster. Over right, here's my... This is starting to get oatmealish now, but... Uh, to it it's warming up a little faster and then you know, I will put this one together which uh, I polished it all together and then I cut it in half so it should look really good all right guys we cut out the drop-in sink and the cooktop we brought them both over and checked the fit and they both fit so now I'm going ahead and trimming up my shims. I'm going to go ahead and pull my uh, cutout bags off. Uh, since I know I don't have to do any touch-up cutting or anything like that. I always leave them in until I test fit my stuff to make sure that uh, I don't make a mess. Also, this is special circumstance on this job. I don't normally do this. I'm glad I did. This seems to be a very nice Christian family. And... I know that without them telling me they're a Christian family. I've heard them playing the piano and listening to gospel music and all that. And uh, they've just been really, really nice people. Uh, they've treated us well, stayed out of our way. And people like that, I don't care to do extra stuff that I don't normally do for. Um, so, uh, so anyways, I'm going to clean all this off and then I'll caulk it before I set it down. Right, I went ahead and just wired everything up for them. White, white, green, black, black, red, red. So we're good to go. I'm going to tighten everything back down. All right, guys. Uh, the job is finished. Just like always, I walked out the door and forgot. I get nervous when I talk to the customers. Uh, everything turned out great. We got to this job a little bit late. Tommy, will you hold that stuff yeah. for me? And... Uh, 
Man, I just couldn't have asked for a job to go any better, to be honest with you. What do you think, Tony? It was smooth. If if the Lord would bless me with every job going this way, I, I would just be happy as could be. Um, the countertops came off as easy as I've ever had them come off. The stove, everything went well pulling it out. The the, the sink and, and the cooktop, it fit. We didn't have to recut anything. The cabinets, like, like I showed you earlier in the video, they weren't dead perfect level, but man, they were pretty close. Um, the seams, I was able to level them up. Like, you know, anybody that installs knows sometimes you can spend an hour or longer, you know, trying to get your seam level and your counters level all the way across, and then your seam might not end up as nice as you like it. Look at these. They're like perfect. You know, if I didn't know they was there, I wouldn't even see them. And I mean, I got them leveled up in no time, like no time. So everything just turned out great. And I, I talk about it in every video that I do, guys. The customer can make or break an install. You can you can have a, a great install and a bad customer and it, it just ruined your day. We got a little silicone here, Tony, we need to get off. Um, that's where I silicone that sink. Uh, but these, these customers, they were awesome. Uh, couldn't ask for better customers. They were nice. They stayed out of our way. Um, it, uh, you just couldn't ask for a better job all the way around. They got a couple of little cute dogs inside. They, they've got a, they got a pretty little girl dog outside. It's like part lab. Um, you guys know how I am about animals. But uh, er everything just turned out great. Uh, I want to do their tile for them either later this week or early next week. And you guys know I only do that for customers that I like. <laughs> so uh, that, that kind of tells you how they were. Um, I showed you I went ahead and wired the cooktop back up and all that. We cleaned up like we always do. Um, I went ahead and raised the feet on their dishwasher for them too because they had laminate that the lip overhang a little bit. So we went ahead and just raised that dishwasher up so it looked a little cleaner for them. Went ahead and hooked it up to the dishwasher bracket. Over here on their compactor, um, they're going to have somebody touch up their uh, cabinets. I don't even know if Tony told them we did this. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and cut them a piece of wood to fit that perfect. Whenever they touch up those cabinets, they can just uh, paint that little piece of wood. And it'll look a lot nicer and cleaner than some kind of bracket in there. It was just a... It was just easy to do it that way, and it looks nicer. And uh, that that's about it, guys. I'm going to get my finished photos, and uh, we are going to get out of here. Um, like I said, I just feel really blessed that we, uh, we had a job go this way. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, sorry I didn't have anything to really show you how to work through on this job because everything went great. Uh, I guess it doesn't make for a great video, but it makes for a good day. So um, I'll see y'all on the next one.